Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, there's uh, in Dutch speak, in new, Dutch news speak, that would be uh, geachte reizigers. Yeah. <laughs> Fellow travelers. <clears throat> it's actually quite uh, a good metaphor for today because you're about to embark on a journey. And um, that is a journey in many different ways uh, on a superficial level. You are actually about to uh, cover large distances, rushing from one session to the next. And those of you who have been here before, you know the corridors are very long. And moreover, you'll probably get lost and you have to travel even more than you meant to. But on a deeper level, uh, you're about to embark on an intellectual travel. Um, you'll find uh, provinces of physics you may have not have visited for a long time. You may find strange countries. You might actually f meet strangers. That is, um, friends you haven't met before. Um, the program committee has put together an, uh, uh, an itinerary for you, uh, options for travel that are very exciting. And I'm sure you'll all use that opportunity to make this a very adventurous tour. Of course, you can always also choose to stay home, talk to your neighbor. Um, yeah, that's always an option. The choice is yours. I should explain my presence here briefly. Um, um, this conference should have been opened by Ineke <coughs> Brakman, the chair of the domain of, of, of uh, sciences. Uh, she's had to deal with some health issues, but she's here, alive and kicking. Um, but still, it, um, I'm taking over this opening, and um, I'm interim chair for a couple of months. Um, but it's a good opportunity to wish her a speedy further recovery, um, and we hope to see her back soon. There are a few things happening in the world around us that uh, I should like to mention here. Maybe not world politics, let's stay closer home in this case. Um, but on the domestic front, uh, we have a new government and when it came into power, it made some announcements that concern science and in particular also the funding of science. It's good news, there'll be significant extra funding for science and some of it is actually labeled for the sciences and engineering sciences. Um, so there will be opportunities for the physics community, definitely. Um, there is also an, an interest in politics to spend more money on research for the large societal issues. Uh, and many of you work in that field too. So I think uh, look forward to new opportunities to fund your research. So there's. Definitely good news. Um, also on the front of NWO, uh, we had this uh, unique opportunity that as a new government was, that announced actual plans for science and NWO was, uh, was, was defining its new strategy. And in the new strategy, you'll find that the way of working that you as physicists have been used to uh, is is very strongly apparent also in the new strategy of NWO. Um, so I think you'll find that there'll be good opportunities for you to work on, uh, on new themes with physics, but also the other sciences, with actually also um, the life sciences and, uh, and humanities, uh, if that's appropriate, in broad programs. Uh, but also uh, the, the new minister for education and research van Engelshoven has very strongly uh, stressed that also fundamental research, no strings attached, blue sky, um, uh, is definitely has her interest and she wants to, to strengthen that. I think that's all very good news for the science community and definitely also the, the physics community. Um, a word about NWO itself, I won't spend too much on that. Uh, it's, there's a lot of organizational stuff that for most of you should be totally uninteresting. Um, but in the end, it's what, uh, what provides you with opportunities for funding. So let's say a few words. 
NWO is uh, in the process of being completely reorganized. So it's uh, the team that is organizing this conference has had a lot of other things to do. I think it's a tribute to their professionalism and enthusiasm that this conference is, uh, came about, as always, uh, but also all the other processes uh, were kept running. Um, but in the meantime, a, an entirely new NWO is forming, and this will become apparent in the coming month, the coming year. Um, from 1 August on, the funding instruments, the funding opportunities will look different, um, and hopefully uh, will provide new and even better opportunities for all of you. In particular, it will be much easier to do interdisciplinary research and get your proposals granted if they're not uh, in one of the classical, uh, strictly restricted uh, phys physics fields. Um, with that, um, I s I'll stop talking about internal organization. Um, we have this phen phenomenal conference coming up. Uh, I hope you'll take that most adventurous itinerary, uh, visit distant shores, things you haven't seen for a long time, uh, um, update yourself on what's going on in all the different branches of physics. It's a very exciting uh, prospect, two days filled with action and new, new ideas, new people you can meet, posters, presentations, discussion sessions. And if during lunchtime you want to, to meet the board or the new directorate of the NWO science uh, domain, you're very welcome to. There's a meet and greet session. Go to the NWO stand in the hall somewhere here and you'll find your board members and the directorate of the, of the domain. With that, I should like to wish you all a very uh, exciting two days. And it will be kicked off now with a totally exciting talk, which will be introduced by Daniel, <coughs> whom I should like to ask to the podium. Thank you.